Welcome back again today, friends. I hope you are ready for a super mega extravaganza Christmas haul video because if you saw my last video, we did super mega shopping at, are you ready for this? If you didn't see it, go watch that because we shopped till we dropped. We shopped at Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, Big Lots, Costco, Walmart, Dollar Tree, so many mega things. The 16 foot table is full and there's also a mega pile over here in my little sitting area. So let's jump in and see what I got. We're gonna start off with Costco and Big Lots. Let's do this. Just gonna run down here, not look at everything, but let's start at Costco, okay? Grazing board, it was like $19. Isn't it beautiful? I just love it. And I use cutting boards and such with my different slow cookers and Instant Pot when I have things on my counters going. Uh, plus, I mean, boards, beautiful. Get one, go to Costco, $19. I mean, this would even be a great Christmas gift, right? These items here in front of me are for a friend of mine. These are some of the items that she requested. She needed some medical gloves and she also needs laundry detergent. She's a single mama with four kiddos and I wanted to just get her enough. Hopefully this would be like four months of laundry detergent for her. Also, we have been out of all these finish tabs and then, I don't know, do we use jet dry is this a thing i have not used it consistently both of my dishwashers have the little thing for it and they say to use it and i want to you know obey bosh because i haven't broke those dishwashers yet <laughs> they've still been doing well for us uh so anyway i think i'm supposed to use this i don't know then costco had this immersion blender and i have an immersion blender it's a Hamilton Beach. I've had it for a couple years. It's been doing okay, but this was a Cuisinart one and I usually do pretty well with their kitchen items uh, and it looked bigger and beefier. And it looked bigger. The whole immersion blender apparatus there was bigger and I thought for the discounted Cuisinart holiday price, I would upgrade my immersion blender. I will pass my Hamilton Beach one on to a friend unless I find myself needing more than one immersion blender, but let me show you this one because this is also a great holiday gift idea. So here you go, and it was, it was $27. I mean, come on, I think my Hamilton Beach one was probably that a couple years ago. So, and it also has, let's, let's read it here. It says, uh, four cup chopper with work bowl. That's nice, I mean, you know. It's got extra attachments. And again, it looked like a, a whole bigger, nice, fun, upgraded setup for me. So we will get this out in many upcoming cooking projects and give it a whirl. And then Costco had beautiful, big, beautiful pillows. And these were marked down to $8.99. Aren't they beautiful? It says Joy. It's got a nice fuzzy back. So whenever you go to Costco, look to get your Christmas pillows there, even for gifts for someone or gift for mama, reindeer crossing. I mean, it's just fun, okay? It's fun. And then we have a fa la 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 pillow here as well. So the biggest thing that I went into Costco for last night was to get the bulk laundry detergent for my friend and also the medical gloves because I know that Costco is a good place to get those items and to tour around the store, see what else they had. I also ordered three pizzas to take home because that was our last stop. And I have learned with Costco, don't wait to the end, JMRL, and then go up and order four pizzas. I mean, they hate me, I know that. I have in the past called ahead. That's helpful also for parties. And then if I don't have pizzas ordered and I haven't picked up the phone and I'm walking in, if I go to the food court and order the pizzas and then go shop for 30 minutes to an hour, the pizzas are ready, no one's stressed out. It's all good, and I only ordered three, so that's not that much. This was my little Happy Holidays Costco haul. 
lots of fun stuff. I mean, we might find a random Costco thing somewhere else, but I don't think so. Now, besides some list we had for some other families, we also have our Samaritan's Purse, Operation Christmas Child Boxes. I have heard that these can actually be done and turned in year round. When I am filming this video, it is the National Collection Week, so obviously that's gonna be over when you see this video, but you can still go online and build a box and give in different ways. It's a fun thing that the kids enjoy doing, and so we're just gonna check boy or girl, we're gonna check the ages, and we're gonna do a bunch of boxes. So, whoa! Hello, hello Hobby Lobby. Yes, we hit it hard. Some of the things, a small portion of this haul that I'm gonna show you are items for our Christmas child shoe boxes, but we did get, they call it the wow item. So like just something extra special for each box. That is these little plushies. My kiddos call them Beanie Boos. And Amelia just loves this Doug the Pug so much. She, she got one for herself and also for a child's box. So we got seven of those, I believe. Let's see here two, four, six. I only have seven boxes. Other shopping I'm going to show you. I think I got enough for eight. If we end up with enough items to do more than seven boxes, we'll keep going. And actually in years past, I like to get, they're about there, that size, the shoe box size, right? The plastic like Rubbermaid storage containers with the lids. That's what we've always used for our Christmas child boxes. Whenever we get these filled, which we will do that also in this video, I will go through and we'll make some piles. I feel like we might have enough for anywhere from eight to 10 boxes. I could be wrong. I mean, that definitely happens. Stick with me and we'll find out. But anyway, if we have any extra boxes, I'll pick up a few of those like Rubbermaid type bins to put those in. So much of this haul is mama getting ready to decorate for Christmas and some fun stuff for the kids. So um, in the Christmas section, Hobby Lobby, and I know we have a cow. We'll, we'll get to him. We have a cow looking at us. Okay. They had these, apparently the black and white like buffalo print is a thing this year because I saw it everywhere. And I was like, okay, we can do that. But these napkins were actually in the already marked down fall section. It was $12.99 for a set of four napkins, but they were 75% off. So I originally had basically the same napkins from the Christmas section and they were 60% off. So I put those back and got those. Okay. All that to say, look at the seasonal sections when you're looking for your new holiday decorating items, just to see if you can save a few more bucks. And so also everything that I'm showing you was 60% off Christmas wise. So that was wonderful. And we are going to do a major Christmas decorating video coming up. We are going to decorate this kitchen, deck the halls, deck the kitchen, do so much. Stay tuned for that. So I've never had fancy Christmas. I mean, fancy to me, right? Uh, Christmas settings. So yay, yay, I'm 43 and I got my first Christmas plates. Yay, okay. And I also, I got these cute little napkin rings with the pine cones. I thought we could use these at different times, but also get them out at Christmas. They were $1.99, but again, 60% off. I also got this garland in the buffalo print, $10.99, but 60% off. And so stretch it out while I'm trying with the burlap. Okay, so we'll see this in use with the decorating video. I have a couple nativity sets and I just thought this one was so sweet. I mean, it looks like, you know, sweater material. So I picked this one up. This was, let's see here, $37.99, but again, 60% off. And let's see, Amelia got these for us. So we got five of the red, five of the green, and then five of the sparkle glitter. That was her idea, super smart, beautiful, beautiful. Anywho, also got us some fun festive signs. We got Merry Christmas, Believe, a big joy sign, this nice plaid serving tray, 
$13.99. Again, 60% off of that. Um, then I got these pretty lights. If I let's see here, a micro pole star. Um, they I guess they're gonna look like this. That'll be fun. And I was thinking, maybe we'll do those in our window. I don't know. I've never decorated this kitchen for Christmas before, but let's do it. And since Amelia was shopping for me, she picked out some precious things. So she picked out this beautiful mama deer and baby deer decoration, $35.99, but again, 60% off. She also, let's see here, I'm looking around. Okay, I'm getting to it, other fun stuff. I just got these bells for the door. I mean, you know, tis the season. I picked up, I should have waited and just got a wreath holder at Dollar Tree. That's where I got my other ones, but I got them while I was there. This is the other precious thing Amelia picked up. So look here, get ready to say, oh, it's so precious. Isn't that precious? I just love it, I just love it. It is so precious. So lots of fun. And I picked up a variety of bowls, serving bowls for a big Christmas meal. We've got this beautiful, uh, Bowl with the pine trees. This one is plastic. This one is breakable. Uh, this is also a lovely bowl. It was $12.99, but 60% off. I got some cookie. Got a Christmas prayer. May this Christmas bring happiness into our homes, peace within our lives, and Jesus into our hearts. Help us remember this season is about the birth of your son and his love for us. We ask for you to humble our hearts and bless us this Christmas. So I thought that was lovely. Lovely. And then something I started this fall. Oh, and we also have a little Joy Nativity set. Amelia picked that up too. And this is just a random thing of lights. I was going to use them. It says indoor, outdoor, multicolor, and we'll hang them, I don't know, in the big window. We'll see. But this fall I, at Hobby Lobby, I got us a fun collection of fall cups. They were like little gnomes and an owl and I think a skunk. And so the kids have enjoyed those cups so much for doing daily hot chocolate and various teas. And so I thought, you know what? We are going to put the fall cups up in our hutch over there and we will get out our winter and Christmas cups. We'll just I guess we will use these maybe till March and then maybe we'll do spring cups. Just again, this is fun for the kids. All of these were 60% off. The other kids saw this and they were like, oh, um, we know Amelia picked that out. So isn't it precious? It's a little deer. It's the most wonderful time of year. And would you believe that the fall cup collector cups that I got for us, we didn't break any, we didn't chip any. I mean, again, it's just a, a Christmas miracle. Um, so this is a cute one, this is Max, and then we've got Merry and Bright. None of these are microwave safe. None of these will go in the dishwasher either. Um, then I just, again, we were looking for a variety, got our little gingerbread man, thought that was cute. We have a cute little snowman. Let's see if mama can break one now. We got a Santa winking at us. And then we have two little gnomes. And then these were some puzzles for fun I got for the kids. Now when we have our new living room done, so soon, I'm so excited, this is going to happen. I want to have a dedicated puzzle table. It's just all my hopes and dreams. I got these puzzles though, and I got, you'll see in another store, one of those um, roll up puzzle things. So we can open it up. We can have days we work on these and then put it up. I'll show you that, but that's why I got these puzzles for. And again, these were also 60% off. So we got the cute little kitties. We got a Rudolph one, one of my favorite Christmas movies. And we just got this cute little guy. Also, uh, Jesus is the reason for the season to decorate with. And then this is a very fun, because again, remember I'm also a grandma now. And because I'm a grandma, I get to get all this extra fun stuff because that's what grandmas do, okay? I just thought that was beautiful. The kids oohed and awed over it. So I'll probably have that maybe over on our little coffee table over by the big window. Just a, a beautiful thing that makes my heart happy. And then I got, this is some more, you know, pretty decorating Christmas stuff. We'll figure out something fun to do with it. Okay, the goats in the bathtub 
have nothing to do with Christmas. <laughs> Amelia saw this and squealed. The very next big project that our contractor is doing is doing the main hall bathroom, which is also the kids' bathroom. It is just so easy to decorate when we decorate with farm animals. So Amelia saw this, she squealed. We got this, just a little hopes and dreams, head nod and wink to the upcoming bathroom renovation in January, so excited. Then we got two wreaths. I picked out this one and let's see here, it lights up. So that'll go on our kitchen door. And then Amelia picked this one out. We have several doors this could go on. It might also go in on our green door. We got a great big giant bow to decorate. And we got some wreath storage bags. And then this great big snowflake. I mean, who doesn't need a great big snowflake to decorate with? So I got one. We will be decorating with it in the kitchen. And then I also got this fun Grinch plate. And we have some different get togethers at our house and Christmas parties and all kinds of fun things. So I'm excited to add these platters and special plates and bowls to my mama collection. Hey friends, guess what? I'm actually, uh, by the way, future Jay Morrell here. I am breaking in to let you know that I am alive and well. Sciatic nerve has settled down. Back seems to be, every, everything is behaving. Tonight I am doing a bunch of super mega freezer cooking. I know that this is a big shopping haul video, but I gotta work with what I gotta work with, right? So anyway, wanted to remind you really quick that my fall 2022 super mega extravaganza sale, where you can get all of my well-loved big batch freezer cooking guides, along with all of my mealtime food sanity saving products over at shop.largefamilytable.com. You can get that whole big bundle for a limited time. I only had one other big sale this year and that was in March. So this is it for 2022. So if you would like to get all of my freezer cooking guides, my meal planning guides, the grocery list, the big batch cooking guides, we got one for now, one for later freezer meals, electric pressure cooker meal plans, slow cooker guides, so much to help you mama get dinner on the table for over 80% off and something special that I've added in with this sale. When you purchase that biggest bundle that's over 80% off, you get my brand new Recession Buster Bundle for free. It includes my brand new book called How to Meal Plan from Your Pantry. It guides you through building a well-stocked pantry and using what you already have on hand, plus two frugal meal guides that go with that. That is an over $44 value, and that's what you get as a free special bonus when you purchase the Super Mega. I don't know what, I don't know what this is about or what waxing on, we're waxing off this evening, but that's okay. Thanks for letting me break in to this haul video. I know we had so much fun doing all that shopping, running around and blessing all those other families and those mamas and their kiddos. Be sure to click the first link in the description below and grab the Recession Buster Bundle for free with your super mega extravaganza bundle purchase. Now, I really think, I really think I'm doing it. I'm getting going with these bowls and I'm doing my first big freezer cooking evening since I went down about in real time it's about six weeks ago I know it only seems like a couple weeks on video but that's because I usually really do get two or three weeks ahead I try to with my videos because Jamarell how do you do all these things well um, I don't know besides wearing the bowls on my head uh, I do actually have to woo, plan ahead and try to hold things together and then over here okay so this will be we will again we will decorate with this very soon in the mega mama christmas decorating video this is just for on our front porch i thought it could get us through all winter and we got some new pictures so i got the buffalo and i got this prayer rejoice always pray continually give thanks in all circumstances for this is god's will for you in christ jesus 1 Thessalonians 5, uh, 16 through 18. And then also, then sings my soul for different places in the house coming up. And then for in the kitchen for this holiday season, this beautiful picture, of course, I can only bring it out for, you know, once a year. But I, again, if it's snowmen, I feel like I have the freedom then to decorate in snowmen and leave it up through the winter. So this might stay up longer. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. But 
this snowman picture at Hobby Lobby, they said it was $79. It was marked down to $32. It's a nice big picture. And I'm thinking that we will, on our decorating day. I'm just thinking it's going to be our big Christmas decoration. Isn't that fun? I might set that there for now. I was thinking we'd put that there. And then I was thinking our the most wonderful time of the year. Over here, over the most wonderful electrical box. <laughs> so that's some of my thinking and decorating with my Christmas pictures. So I'm gonna move my onion tower to here for the time being. Alrighty, so here's what we got at TJ Maxx, which was a lot of fun. It's been a while since I've been in there, so let's have a look. So this haul was just all for my family and Christmas and, and fun things. So snow globes, okay, we got to enjoy the world of snow globes, and I'm glad we didn't get them at Hobby Lobby, and I waited to see what else was around because I like these prices more at TJ Maxx, like $12. Of course, Amelia picked that out, and it's got the little kitties. This is a nativity one. It was $14. I mean, these similar globes, I feel like were $30 or $40 uh, or more at Hobby Lobby. Of course, everything was marked down. I'm glad I waited for the TJ Maxx globes though. And then also to balance it out, got the puppy globe and everything plays music and the kids, I just know they will enjoy it. And so I was thinking, well, maybe I'll get a different snow globe every year to add to our little collection. Um, also at TJ Maxx, I got this puppy winter mug let it snow cute little puppies all around it was $5.99 and that's for our winter mug collection and now this teapot I thought was really neat so it is glass it has the pyramid bags it looks like it has many different varieties we've got green tea white tea jasmine tea mango tea so many nice flavors in here it says 18. i'm thinking how this works is that the person that so i bought this for someone special to me uh, for part of their christmas present it says hand blown glass heat resistant so i think they will put one of these packs of tea and then they will fill it with hot water and let it infuse. I also got her this God is with her, she will not fail, some 46.5 mug. I thought that was precious. And it says that on both sides, that was $3.99. So this is someone's special Christmas present. Then for Mega Mama here, I got myself a fresh scarf. It has been a while, so it's $12.99. These lady shoes are for Amelia and she's only nine but the girl is growing like a weed in her horseback riding lesson she's already had to move up to a full-size horse I mean she's not doing a pony anymore anyway what are these I think these are ladies eight and a half what in the world anyway uh they were super cute and she loved them and so we got them um also christmas wise so this is another thing in hobby lobby i was going to get one of their gingerbread houses and i didn't and i'm glad that i got this one at tj maxx let's see what it was what were you what were you 29 dollars. okay so at Hobby Lobby, it just seemed like the gingerbread houses were a little more, so I didn't get any there, but I am glad I got that because the kids are gonna really enjoy that. Also, it is still fall. Now you're gonna see this. Well, I think you're gonna see this Thanksgiving week. I was getting ready to say, we're getting ready to have Thanksgiving in a few days. So even though I'm getting Christmas stuff ready and Christmas shopping going, we're getting ready for Turkey Day. So I got this platter at TJ Maxx. It was 75% off. Let's see here. Yep, four, no, $11. Okay. And then woo, 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 and then marked down from there. And then I got two turkeys. I thought this will be fun for our Thanksgiving Island. Let's see, $6.50 and then $6.50. So that's for our upcoming Thanksgiving. And then over here, yay. So Christmas things for grandbaby, Christmas things for Tobin. Got them these cute little sleepers, they're Gerber. Uh, Tobin loves all the trucks. Travis has totally, you know, trained him in the way that he shall go. He loves all the Vum Vums all the time. He has not actually watched Rudolph, which we watch every year. And so let's see. There we go. There we go. 
I just know he's going to love it. So he was $9.99. So this goes into Tobin's Christmas stack. Now I did get Tobin this fantastic Paw Patrol ride on toy at Walmart maybe two months ago. I think it was $75 and they had a stack of them marked down to $35. And it's like the toddler ride on. So I thought, oh my goodness, this is Tobin's Christmas. So it's a Paw Patrol one. I got it. I've been holding it. So that's his big Christmas present. Then he has these trucks and, and this cute little Rudolph, Rudolph and these jammies. I'm sure some other things, but that's how Tobin's Christmas is coming along. Oh, I just remembered the big thing I got him at Big Lot. So yeah, you'll see another Tobin Christmas coming up. And then also for grandbaby, this is his, look, my first Rudolph, and it's a really snuggly, cute little plush Rudolph blanket. Getting the stack going as well. And so this is what went down at TJ Maxx. And now Big Lots, oh, I, I forgot to, this is our, puzzle storage system. And I went with this one because it looked like it was adjustable so we can use it for many different size puzzles. It says from 500 all the way up to 2000. And it looks like the pieces of the components to make this thing get bigger or smaller based on how many puzzles you're doing fits because I can look at pictures. Look at that. Fits within there. Okay, so we will give this a go for our puzzle system. And Big Lots was next. Uh, there are some things in here from Walmart that I see, but most of this big stack here is Big Lots. And we, three carts, three full carts at Big Lots. We, the, the bags say, I love Big Lots. And I'm saying, I love Big Lots. Alrighty, and now let's have a look at this massive Big Lots haul. So it's the whole table. I have layers upon layers of Big Lots here. So we will start down here. This section is stuff for my own family. This was Tobin's other thing for his Christmas stash. How could we not? I can just picture him running through the yard with it. And I mean, it's huge. I don't know, for reference, my big head, this truck, it's a big truck, okay? <laughs> so I'll get down here with it. He'll have a lot of fun with that. But I will put that on the floor for now. Go down here, start down here. So if you remember back, where, where are we now? Two and a half years ago, I did get a new living room set for this house. I have turned it into, you know, when you get the furniture and you get the warranty and you turn it in and they're supposed to come like deep clean it and all of that. I'm still waiting. I've turned a big list of things in, like part of the back of the couch. This is the Love Sleep slipcover, but part of the back of um, our bigger couch is like coming out so anyway in the meantime while I'm waiting for them to they're supposed to either come and fix it all and clean it all or they're supposed to basically replace the furniture I, I'm testing this we'll see but in the meantime <laughs> I got this uh, reversible chair protector I'm just gonna put over Travis's big chair I've got a gray love seat cover and then like a taupe big couch cover I would like for these to be matching but we can also do grays and taupes so they didn't have everything in the same color but that's okay so I got this these are the days pillow and then this happiness is homemade pillow look with all that little sweet stitching on it so these will be pillows after we are done with all these wonderful Christmas pillows and then total fun mom thing this is like $20 of fun got this fondue fountain for my kiddos for the holidays they love it the times that we've eaten out and the restaurants have had this. So here you go. Happy, happy day. Happy everything. <laughs> uh, fun mom stuff right there. Also, because we have a birthday the week before Christmas and the birthday the week after Christmas. So many super mega important things are happening in our family this time of year. And then of course the everyday question, how many days until Christmas? So I thought that, I don't know, we've never had one of these, it just hangs up. I thought we could hang it on the refrigerator. It says $8.99, but all the Christmas stuff at Big Lots was also heavily marked down. So I thought we could just move this along while the, the days go, you know, it'll go like, it'll go super fast, right? Okay, and then I got 
two more platters. So we got Holly Jolly Christmas Tree Farm. And then we just have this cute little one with the gnomes and the snowman all the Christmas fun. I'm also doing the Christmas party at our homeschool group again this year and doing the gingerbread houses. So I'll do videos of that fun again this year when we make the houses, but these things will come in handy. And then, yes, everywhere I went, I got Christmas pillows. So we got Jingle All The Way. This has the little bells on it. We have the Christmas tree farm. We have the Holly Jolly Christmas, the Warm Winter Wishes. And then because, again, Thanksgiving is a coming, got another stack of these just fun happy thanksgiving napkins now will this change my life or not i don't know i thought for the 19 dollars i would give it a try okay keeping everything in alignment you know the things the things we have to think about so this definitely is a good representation to the, the pain that I have dealt with here. Um, so things are so much better though, so much good improvement. Um, but I just picked that leg pillow up even though I've just been using regular pillows. I probably don't need this, but let's give it a shot. I, I'm all for anything. Then I got this nice little Believe Christmas decoration. I was thinking of hanging up inside here as well. And then for my kiddos, so this isn't for Christmas. This is for, hey, this weekend, Mama got you this fresh stuff. I got every kiddo. So we have community sheets. We have a sheet and blanket closet. But I got five new twin sheet sets. It has a fitted sheet, a flat sheet, and a pillowcase. Then I got everybody. We all love a fresh, fluffy cover. So this one is for Zion. This one is for Naomi. Um, Amelia already took her horse one. I've got, this one's probably for Gabriel with the deer. The tiger is for Liam. And then, oh, if I can get to them, we have some puppies, some dogs and some puppies for Daniel and Benjamin. And then down here, I have a bunch of stuff for some other ladies in my life. Uh, this area right here is for a mom with a couple teenagers at home and she is setting up a new household and so these are some of the things she shared with me that she needed. One of the things she needed was a new two cup measuring cup that didn't have the numbers all rubbed off of it. Hers is just, as we say, pretty much gone to be with Jesus. It's just a cup now so she asked for one of those and then while I got her this one they had a plastic four cup one so I went ahead and got her both. So she gave me the specific measurements for the curtains I got pretty close and I'm hoping I, I asked at checkout if these ladies bring things back in the Big Lots bag without the receipt if they can exchange or return. Big Lots said to me that night that as long as it was in 30 days of purchase they could bring these back. So I was just thinking like in particular with these curtains if I did wrong because I was nervous with curtains and I got the curtain rods. I mean I I I think it's okay, but just to be sure, they can take, she, she can take these back to the local big lots and exchange if needed. But she asked for three sets of curtains for bedrooms. They're using blankets right now. And so I thought, you know, these are kind of like, well, it says navy. So I was gonna say they're like a gray blue color. It says they're also blackout curtains. Looks good, looks good to me. Also got two sheet sets per request for her household kitcheny things so i got all of these ladies this life is a beautiful ride set of towels and then a two pack of gray towels and then some like kitchen dish cloths also so she asked and also my other friend they were just sharing things on their list for kitchen organizing things i think I got <laughs> kind of overwhelmed in all the organizing product options. So I did get these little like nesting baskets, two sets of them for her to use however she would like. And then also she had asked for towels. So this is a six piece towel set. So two bath towels, two hand towels, two washcloths in each set. So I thought that was pretty good. And this is everything that I got for this friend. And then over 
over here for this friend. She asked for mattress protectors, so we got five of those. Also for sheets, so we've got four different sets of twin sheets. And these at uh, Big Lots were $9.99 a set. I thought that was great. Same price for the full king or queen, so again, phenomenal price. Got her the same kitchen towel set. Got her a banana and fruit basket. Also these kitchen organizing uh, items there. And then four plushies for kiddos. And then also they needed a full bed set. So this says, and it was 35 marked down on clearance to 20. It's a nine piece reversible bedding set, complete bedroom makeover. Okay, it says one reversible cover, two shams, and a six piece sheet set. So I thought that was good. I thought that was a, that was a nice bed in a bag situation. Then for another little mama in my life, she needed a new pot. She wanted an, a, a fresh eight quart stock pot. I'm like eight quarts really, but then I remembered like for years I cooked in a five quart stock pot or Dutch oven. And that was like my main pot I did for everything. And I still have that pot. So anyway, Big Lots had this special where if you bought one houseware item, you got the other one for 50% off. So I also got her a five quart Dutch oven. Uh, she needed a new ma bathroom mat bath. Can I say it? It's not a math bath. <laughs> bath mat she needed a fresh bath mat and she does have some of those blue colors going on also got her family this cute little snowman set uh, and then she had asked for more kitchen towels and washcloths and some kitchen cloths and this is for another friend of mine who needed some more kitchen things as well so this is all the big lots like i said it ended up being i think we got it up there oh this friend had also asked for an outdoor mat so i got her that one um we got it all up there in two carts but it took three carts to get it out oh and i forgot i got um this soda organizer i didn't want to get organizing things you know just to like throw organizing things at folks um but i do have two pan organizers I'm going to give to these ladies. For myself, I have seen a need just for these soda can organizers for those Zevious sodas that I like in my Mega Mama refrigerator. So I did get two of those because I have those sodas in my Amazon subscribe and save. So these are the Christmas plates I got. And with all of my Christmas table setting, you know, maybe I should have purchased everything for 20. I did everything for 16. It'll just be a mixed variety, right? But all of these plates are the same. And that was also for my family. Okay, friends, one more 16 foot long table full. We can do it, we can do it. So the items down here, these items are particularly for two different moms who gave me a list of things that they need for their kiddos for Christmas. So we have two watches for two teen young men. Uh, we got this cute little rainbow here. Let's see, there you go, it lights up. And this goes with the rainbow pillow for a teen girl's room. These Hot Wheels cars Daniel picked out, these are for the Operation Christmas Child boxes. And then this little Hot Wheels car, it says for age one and a half up. This is for the little box we're going to do for a Tobin age boy. Um, this is a Christmas gift for a tween and another one for teenager guy. This is for a young lady. And then we have four plushies. This mama told me that her kids love plushies. So we got for two boys and two girls. There's a cute little mermaid girl with the fun hair. She could get a haircut, you know what happens. This one says she glows in the dark. So that would be neat to see. Also back to the mamas who shared with me, they would like some setting up new household kitchen organization items. I did not totally forget that. I just, I shared, I felt overwhelmed at Big Lots. For some reason, you know, sometimes your brain just like shuts down a little bit and I was like, okay, I, I can't, can't see through anything else at Big Lots now. 
but today at Walmart they have these Better Homes and Gardens canister set that has a it's an eight piece canister set so I got each of those mamas one of these and it says it's eight airtight containers with easy open lids and they're also stackable so yay for that and then the rest of this is Operation Christmas Child, mostly here, from the Dollar Tree. So on the list, they said backpacks. These are smaller, but we can roll them up or fold them up. So we have three with avocados. I thought this would be for the little, maybe the little Benjamin age boy. Um, and then I just got a neutral color there. And then I got these types of backpacks. Uh, because they were bigger and I was thinking more for like the older elementary and teen kids uh, can fit a lot more in them and I think they will fold down nicely um, here's two more of those wreath holders and then here is just some Dollar Tree signs for this mama decorating and some other fun little Dollar Tree decorations this this is just for me this is me we'll be decorating with it with this so it's it's cute to see what the kids pick out. There's definitely things that I got in bulk and then three of the kids who were with me, I mean Tobin helped me out, but then the other three kids each got their own basket and each of them filled a basket for their kid. Um, so anyway, it looks like someone got a set of stickers and a fan. That's really pretty. And then a thing of buttons. Um, also two magnifying glasses. I mean, that's cool. Oh, when they light up, that's neat. Um, one of the kids picked out this two year planner and then another kid also got a calendar. Um, this looks like fun. I bet Amelia picked this out. Surprise sayings, bracelet activity. And then here again, it's just so precious to see what they picked out on their own. A little, uh, transformer set. We got some scissors. School supplies were a big thing. Now, now, I don't think we can send this lip balm. So I see someone picked this up, but I'm pretty sure we can't. I'll, I'll look at my list. And uh, again, we will be putting those boxes together here next. Not tonight though. In 10 seconds after this video clip, we will do those boxes together. But mama's got to sleep and we got to go to church in the morning and stuff. Okay. So sunglasses were on the list. So we got sunglasses for all. Um, also, it looks like the kids picked out two hairbrushes. Lots of scissors here and pencils. And then um, I picked these out. A kiddo must have picked these out, but they were thinking ahead. Look at this. They got colored pencils, regular pencils, and pencil sharpeners. So smart. So I picked out these chalkboards and I got one for each kiddo and then also a box of chalk. We also got tape. Now, this tape is for here because we always need tape. Uh, looks like, look, we got some Littlest Pet Shops and a little um, etch and sketch board. So cute. Um, and then, I mean, I, I know what kid pick this out. Um, and then I got a variety of these different little activity sets that are supposed to have crayons and stickers in them. Toothbrushes are a big item, but not toothpaste. So I got the younger boys these, and then these triple sets. I thought maybe they would need them for later. Maybe they would share with their family. I just, I got these party blowers. I just thought we'd put one in every box. I mean, that would be fun. Uh, this is another sweet thing. It looks like she picked out a little hand towel for them. Unicorn toy, I got, um, these wipes to go in the littlest boy box. Um, then we got, I like to pack these hand towels because obviously they don't take up a lot of space. So looks like we got a bunch there. Then um, I like these notebooks too because they come with two notebooks each. Tobin actually picked out that journal. He carried that, you know, rode around with it in the cart. Uh, looks like we got a little happy face book. And then I picked out some sticker books. These look fun. And these, I, I hope they fit. We'll try. Um, now that I'm looking at it, I'm not so sure. I think Liam picked out a football toy. Oh, this is a great idea. Look at that. Uno to go and a slinky. Just very, very thoughtful, thoughtful things they picked out. Um, these... 
little paint sets. I always grab, like these are seasonal at Dollar Tree. I get them in the fall, I get them in the summer. Uh, my younger elementary kiddos love doing those and they'll do the same one a couple times. They don't care. And then they'll paint on paper and paint rocks and do other things. But anyway, it's just kind of like a craft kit ready to go. So these are actually for my mama stash. Um, there's some flamingos that I think Amelia got for her girl box. Tobin saw this vroom vroom and he was like vroom 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 vroom. He really wanted it and so he also rode around with that in the cart. Now I've never gotten shoes for the Operation Christmas Child boxes but I, I just that caught my eye this year and we were at Dollar Tree and they had flip flops so I got some flip-flops that I hope we get in the appropriate boxes. I thought these for in the Tobin box and then hair items. Um, so these little sparkly ones, looks like I think Amelia picked this one out and she picked out some hair clips, just some nice little things. We have some spoons and then a whole variety of different socks because socks are also needed. All right, so stay tuned because with the uh, magic of filming, we're going to be right back. It's going to be several hours later, but it's only going to be 10 more seconds, and we're going to put these boxes together. See, I told you, happy new day. We have been to church. We have had our taco bar for lunch. It's been a couple days of tacos. We'll do tacos for dinner, and then we'll be all tacoed out. To make a fun filling the Christmas boxes, style party maybe. I know that some families like do the Christmas cakes and have friends over and have Christmas music playing. That's what we'll do. We'll play Christmas music in a few minutes. But I was thinking through what we had in the house and I was like, okay, we have popsicles and we have ice cream. So let's have some ice cream and pack these boxes. But we will play Christmas music. Let me show you how we have the table set up. All right, so we got our boxes laid out and then I had them go through and just kind of put things in piles as they're related to one another. And then we're gonna go through and work on filling up our boxes and just, just seeing how far we can get with them. Okay, yeah, so you pick one of these special little stuffies and we also, you know what we need to do? Go over and get a backpack. We need to put our flat things at the bottom. You're gonna put the kitty in there. That's nice. Get the gray one. We'll pack it. We'll pack it right in a minute. Just put the things you want in the box, and then we'll go sit and un and pack it right. Does that make sense? So pick out some sunglasses. Pick out a pack of scissors. Hey, okay, Daniel. There's a chalkboard and chalk. Pick out a little party favor. Be sure to put in the school supplies, okay? The mechanical pencils. Okay, and again, we'll go, we'll sit, you can sit down, pick them out of car. Can I put the stuff in? You get one, yeah, put one put little party favor in there. So Daniel, pick out one of these cool washcloths, okay? Amelia, be sure to put, um, some hair stuff in there. Yep, pair of shoes, pair of like cute little socks. And then look, we got more hair things. There's a scrunchie. Liam, uh, put a pair of shoes. Get You got a pair already? Okay. Very good. We also have some sticker books. If you want, yeah, get sunglasses, get sticker books. There you go. Yep, pick out some cool glasses. Okay, so Benjamin, I need you. Yep, we need chalkboard, get the chalk. Again, we're, Mama's gonna repack this in a minute. Okay, and then I did you get some of the pencils? Yeah, I got pencils. Did Benjamin? Did you get a car? No. Hold on. One, one, one. There you go. Put a car. Good. Okay, let's go down here. We gotta get some socks. Get some little. We got puppy dog socks. Puppy. Or those? What's the puppy? I see the puppy ones right there. Right here, honey. There you go, put those in your box. And then these here, these are little notebooks. See these, they got rainbows or a pineapple. Put those in here. We got big sticker books here. Oh, also one of these activity sets. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try to fold that down. Just lay it on the top for right now and I'll get it in a minute. And then, hey Daniel, did you get one of these? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Benjamin, pick one of these. Okay, this is the box that Liam packed. Can I just lift sure. a few things? He's got layers. 
and layers in here. Socks, toothbrushes, sewing hair kit, brush. sunglasses, hair kit. That looks very nice, Liam. There's more school. Yeah, get, oh Liam, did you put scissors in yours? Did you put scissors in yours, Daniel? Yes. Nice. Just to make sure. We've got, I've got to do a couple more also. Yes, definitely. Put pencils in there. And did you get a little washcloth? Yes. You can, okay. Okay, good job. Mm -hmm.